Hi, my name is Afnan. Uh, today I just want to show you about the various flush uh, cycle, one flush cycle, what is comprised of on my uh, bell valve. What you are seeing now is the drip flow. This is uh, from the uh, weak hole and this is a good indication that there is no blockage on the weak hole and the pump is working. Uh, the drip, fl uh, drip flow is uh, roughly equivalent to the amount of time required to fill up the row bit until the flush occur. Okay, it's going to take some time because uh, you need to fill up the row bit. After this uh, drip flow, what you will get will be the pre-flush, meaning the pre-flush flow is as the water overflow the standpipe and it will be uh, getting more and more and trying to create the flush. So after the drip flow, you will get the pre-flush flow. Pre-flush flow is uh, quite a short duration. It's only a short duration because uh, the flush will occur right uh, after the pre-flush flow occur. Okay, now you see the pre-flush flow. Then you have the flush. The flush will depend on how much water you have in the grow bin. And after the flush, you will have the post flush flow, which is the flow where you need to cut out the water. Like this, the post flush flow and this is equivalent to the equilibrium flow where water could be sustained without a cut off uh, if the design is doesn't take care of the cut off part of the flush so in this particular flush it will take uh, quite uh, some time to cut off but it's not uh, that it will not cut off it will cut off but uh, it's just slightly longer than uh, the other flush because there are some modification I did to this flush to make it uh, working with a very low flow so you have a burp at the end a very short burp and then you will go back into the uh, drip flow that is the complete flush cycle on my bell valve First, you will get the drip flow, the pre-flush flow, the full flush, the post-flush, then you will go back to the drip flow. This uh, four type of uh, flow is the complete cycle of the flush. And uh, it's quite easy to see whether the flush is working or not. Anytime you have a look at the flush, if you see it's only a drip flow, then you rest assured that the flush has occurred. Uh, you will be, you will need to look at it if you have the post flush flow not cutting off. And what I recommend is to clean the flush. Right, that's about it for today, and uh, thank you very much. Bye.